ஹலோ பசங்களா வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் நான் தான் அவங்க மாஸ்டர் டீச்சர் நிவேதா மேக்கிங் பயோ லேர்னிங் வெரி வெரி சிம்பிளிஃபைட் ஸோ இன்னைக்கு நம்ம செஷனில் பார்க்க போகிறது ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் அண்ட் இன் அனிமல்ஸ் கிளாஸ் இலெவனில் வரும் இட் இஸ் கோண்ட் டு பி ஃப்ராக் ஒன் ஷார்ட் ஓகே ஸோ இப்போ என்சிஆர்டி சிலபஸ் ரெடியூஸ் ஆயிருக்குன்னு எல்லாருக்குமே தெரியும் ஸோ இப்போ ரெடியூஸ் ஆயிருக்க என்சிஆர்டி சிலபஸில் வெறும் ஃப்ராக் மட்டும் தான் இருக்குது பசங்களா ஸோ டோன்ட் ஃபர்கெட் ரொம்ப ஈஸியாக ஒரு ஃபார்ட்டி டு ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் மினிட்ஸ்க்குள்ளே இந்த என்டையர் சாப்டரை நீங்கள் படித்து முடிச்சிடலாம் ப்ளீஸ் டூ stay with me okay till the end do like share comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel innor mukkiyana vishayam ungalku theviyana ella study material um naanga vande description la pin panirpo please go and check it out for yourself vaanga session ku la pogalam so iniki session la enna paaka porom na idella dhaan paaka porom this is going to be the summary of the session enna ma'am ivlo vishayam iruka ma'am oru oru vishayatha patti oru oru kutti kutti paragraph dhaan kuduthirukanga neenga romba elaborate ah padikala okay what is given in your ncert is what i'm going to discuss with all of you pasangla so what is morphology pasangla morphology na it is external appearance or external features of an organism adhe anatomy na enna pasangla study of internal structures that is what we call it as anatomy okay idhe class 11 la morphology in flowering plants anatomy in flowering plants padichirpinga correct ah so always remember morphology is external appearance okay or external features in kuda solalam we call it as external features okay whereas anatomy is a study of internal features so or organism la enna nalla pa irko that too it is a chordate okay so it is having all evolved evolved organ system digestive system respiratory system circulatory system excretory system endocrine system neural system male and female reproductive system ecological importance of frog eppadi endu or frog vandu avlo mukkiyamaana vishayam adella nda nama paaka porom right so ellaru frog paathirupinga all of you would have heard that noise okay of frog in the night right that is what we are going to explore today come on i welcome you to the world of frog okay we are going to discover a lot and lot of things pasangla vaanga session ku la pogalam so modala let's try to understand the classification of your frog okay they belong to kingdom animalia phylum chordata okay and class amphibia order anura ஜீனஸ் ராணா ஸ்பீசிஸ் டைகிரீனா மேம் இந்த ராணா டைகிரீனா மட்டும் தானா மேம் ஒரே ஸ்பீசிஸ் அப்படி கிடையாது பசங்களா உங்கள் டெக்ஸ்ட் புக்கில் ஸ்டடி பண்ணியிருக்கிறது வந்து ராணா டைகிரீனா ஸோ அதனால நம்ம அதே ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கலாம் ஓகே ஸோ வாங்க இதோட ஃபீச்சர்ஸை பார்க்கலாம் ஸோ ஆம்ஃபிபியன்ஸோட ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் என்ன பசங்களா வை டு வி கால் தன் ஆம்ஃபிபியன்ஸ் பிகாஸ் த ஸ்கின் இஸ் வெரி மாய்ஸ்ட் கரெக்ட் தே கேன் லீவ் போத் இன் லேண்ட் அண்ட் வாட்டர் தே எக்ஸிபிட் மெட்டமார்போசிஸ் ஸோ அதெல்லாம் தான் நம்ம கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமாக பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் கண்டினியூ பசங்களா frogs frogs can live on land and in fresh water and belong to the class amphibia of phylum chordata idha da na sonna okay the most common species of frog found in india is rana tigrina okay they do not have a constant body temperature that is their body temperature varies with the temperature of the environment so enna solla varanga na avungala ore temperature maintain panna mudiyadu their body temperature keeps changing so such organism are called poikilotherms the poikilotherms are namma enna solrom cold blooded in kuda solrom okay so fishes amphibians bians and reptiles all of these are cold blooded so our body temperature maarite irukum okay coming to birds and mammals okay nammalu birds vandu warm blooded that means our body temperature remains constant with respect to the surrounding environment so marandradinga eppadi patta organism they are they are cold blooded organism okay arthadu they have the ability to change the color to hide them from their enemies they show camouflage okay so camouflage அந்த இடத்துக்கு ஏத்த மாதிரி அவங்க கலரை மாத்தக்கூடிய அபிலிட்டி வந்து அவங்களுக்கு இருக்கு கரெக்டா ஸோ த வை இஸ் திஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் திஸ் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டு ப்ரொடெக்ட் தேம் ஃப்ரம் தேர் எனிமிஸ் ஓகே திஸ் ப்ரொடெக்டிவ் கலரேஷன் இஸ் கால் மிமிக்ரி ஓகே they mimic they mimic soil they mimic the leaves okay so and the color ka avanga odam vandu maarirum that process that process is called as camouflage okay and this coloration is called mimicry mimicry pannuvaanga la nareya per nareya per mari pesuvaanga la rajinikanth mari vijay mari ellam pesuvaanga la adhe inga naabuga vechukonga they are capable of hibernation and estivation ma'am hibernation na enna ma'am estivation na enna ma'am hibernation na pasangala it is nothing but your winter sleep okay 
so winter vandu romba worse ah irundhuchna they go into a deep sleep and that is called hibernation estivation na enna ma'am summer sleep okay when the summers are too hot okay so they go into a deep sleep where they are metabolically very very less active okay they are still alive they undergo a enna solradhu suspension nu solala they are a kind of suspension okay they are not able to tolerate the surrounding temperature okay this is something introducing to your frog okay morphology the skin ninga frog thottu paathirukinga yara thottu paathirukinga the skin is very very smooth okay it is slippery okay ninga kaiyila pidichinga adha appadi kaiyila nu valikiru right due to the presence of mucus the skin is always maintained in a moist condition okay adha epovume skin vandu romba soft ah romba moist ah irukum the color of the dorsal side of the body is generally olive green with dark irregular spots on the ventral side the skin is uniformly pale yellow so idu vandu dorsal idu vandu ventral okay dorsal side la what is the color it is olive green okay ventral side la enna pa color it is pale yellow okay the frog never drinks water but absorb it through the skin idu romba or interesting ana vishayam okay so where do they get the water from they get the water through their skin because the skin is always always moist okay this is something very interesting yes adutha idu paakalam body of a frog how is it divided morphology da paathirukkom the body of the frog is divided into head and trunk okay neck illa tail illa the neck and tail is absent you can see there is no neck and there is no tail above the mouth a pair of nostrils is present okay so in the vai mel and the nostrils irukum eyes are bulged and covered by a nictitating membrane that protects them while in water so this is very very important eyes vandu nalla bulged out ah irukum inga theriyuda okay and they are covered by a nictitating membrane so whenever they are in water this nictitating membrane will protect them from the water entering into the eyes okay on either side of the eyes there is a membrane a tympanum so nam nammalku irukka mari external ears kedaiyadhu avangalukku they have a tympanum like structure which is going to act as a ear and it receives sound okay so nammalku tympanum vandu middle ear la irukku but ivungalku vandu tympanum mattrum da ore oru auditory organ auditory organ na enna the organ which is used in hearing okay so remember every every line is so very important morphology pathi paakalam inno konjam morphology irukku the forelimb and hindlimb paathina they have two limbs they have a forelimb and they have the hindlimb the forelimb and hindlimb help in swimming they help in walking leaping ninga frog leap pandrada paathirpinga correct ah and it also help in burrowing the hindlimb id romba romba mukkiyam the hindlimb ends in five digits and they are larger and muscular than the forelimb that end in four digits okay so the hindlimb la vandu verum naale naal digit da irukum adhe avanga forelimbs la vandu sorry hind limbs la vandu anju digit irukum avanga forelimbs la vandu naal digit digit na enna indha vai finger like structures okay feet have webbed digits that help in swimming so when it comes to your hind limb they have a feet they have webbed digits okay they exhibit sexual dimorphism so sexual dimorphism na enna one can differentiate between male and a female okay so sexual dimorphism oda meaning enna male and female can be distinguished okay can be distinguished adha da nama vandu sexual dimorphism nu solrom eppadi ma'am eppadi ma'am sexually dimorphic eppadi ma'am nammal distinguish pannalam male frogs can be distinguished by the presence of sound producing vocal sacs okay so the male frog are the one which produces that sound okay ninga paathirpinga and the sound right and they also have a copulatory pad on the first digit of the forelimb which are absent in the female frogs so here you can see this is a male frog okay so male frog when my copulatory pad irukku which helps in copulation during reproduction okay adhe in the female frog in the vand first digit vand copulatory pad ah modify aayirukadu romba romba mukkiyam difference between the male frog and the female frog male frog has vocal sac female frog does not have vocal sac and that first difference second difference male frog have copulatory pad enga irukku pasangala on the first digit of the four limb which are absent in female frogs okay very 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 important whatever i am telling is so very important pasangala 
அடுத்தது பார்க்கலாம் முதல்ல நம்ம டைஜஸ்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் பற்றி பார்க்கலாம் ஓகே ஸோ ஃப்ராக்ஸ் வந்து இன்செக்ட் சாப்பிடும் சில டைம் புல்லு சாப்பிடும் தேர் ஆம்னி வேர்ஸ் ரைட் தே தே டோன்ட் ஹேவ் அ ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் டயட் ஓகே ஸோ த டைஜஸ்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் எலிமெண்ட்ரி கெனல்ஸ் அண்ட் த டைஜஸ்டிவ் கிளான்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் த டைஜஸ்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் கண்டே நம்மள மாதிரி தான் நம்மளுக்கும் எலிமெண்ட்ரி கெனல் கட் இருக்கு அது கூட சேர்த்து டைஜஸ்டிவ் கிளான்ஸ் இருக்குல்ல த சேம் திங் தே ஹேவ் ஓகே அண்ட் த எலிமெண்ட்ரி கெனல் இஸ் ஷார்ட் பிகாஸ் ஃப்ராக்ஸ் ஆர் கார்னிவோர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹென்ஸ் த லென்த் ஆஃப் த intestine is reduced okay yes the mouth opens into a buccal cavity you can see this is your mouth the mouth opens into a buccal cavity the buccal cavity opens into esophagus the esophagus opens into a short pharynx okay now the pharynx now leads into stomach so stomach is munnadi inga vand liver irukku the stomach leads into intestine okay intestine leads into rectum and then everything the anus the excretory system and your reproductive system all of them opens through the cloaca okay so what is the function of liver ninga idala padichirpinga life processes chapter la okay liver secretes bile that is produced that is stored in the gall bladder right what is the function of bile it helps in emulsification of fat okay pancreas the digestive gland produces pancreatic juice so inga vand pancreas kuda irukke okay so this is how the entire digestive system looks like it is a complete digestive system right from mouth to your anus okay paakalam adutha enna vishayam irukku ne so how is the food captured the food is captured by the bilobed tongue okay digestion of the food takes place by the action of hcl and gastric juices secreted from the walls of the stomach you know the stomach secretes hcl okay and gastric juice and this gastric juice contains all your kind of enzymes okay like your pepsinogen and the marina enzymes all are there okay that is going to help in a digestion of proteins okay the partially digested food is called chyme is passed from the stomach to the first part of the small intestine that is duodenum ninga human digestion paathirpingala adhe vishayam da they move on to duodenum this is your duodenum from here to here okay the duodenum receives bile from the gall bladder okay you can see the gall bladder here it is going to receive it and also it receives the pancreatic juice from the pancreas so duodenum la da mukkavasiyana digestion vandu nadakkum okay they digest the carbohydrates and protein fat digestion also takes place in the intestine with the help of bile juice and pancreatic juice digested food is absorbed by the numerous finger like folds in the inner wall of the intestine we call it as villi so ellarkume theriyo intestine la indha mari numerous finger like projections irukko that is going to increase the surface area the undigested food moves into the rectum and passes out through the cloaca so ma'am cloaca na endha ma'am it's one single common opening for digestive system it's a single opening for excretory system and also a single opening for reproductive system so that is about your digestive system pasangla okay adutha vishayam paakalam respiration so respiration how is respiration happening here frogs respire on land and amphibian they live both on land as well as on water okay so they respire on land and in water by two different methods okay so when they are in land they basically use their lungs okay and they are also using uh, skin as an aquatic respiratory organ we call it as cutaneous respiration respiration with the help of skin as cutaneous respiration romba romba mukkiyo so dissolved oxygen in the water is exchanged to the skin by diffusion on the on land the buccal cavity skin and lungs okay so rendu vidamana respiratory organ irukku onnu vandu water okay innon vandu land so water la irukumbodhu they use their skin okay adhe avanga land la irukumbodhu they use their buccal cavity okay they use their lungs and they also use their skin pasangla okay and respiration via lungs is called pulmonary respiration enna nu solranga pulmonary respiration nu solrom respiration via skin is called as your cutaneous respiration every every line is so very important okay let's talk about the lungs inga paakringa this is your lungs pasangla you can see pale pink color organs and that is what forms your lungs okay so they are pale pink colored sac like structure present in the upper part of the trunk air enters through the nostril into the buccal cavity and then into the lungs during estivation and hibernation gaseous exchange 
takes place through skin. I think already I told you estivation line na, hibernation line na. Estivation is summer sleep, hibernation is winter sleep. Okay, so this is about respiration. Oral kutti kutti paragraphs tham pasangala. Ipo circulatory system pati pakla. Okay, so modala yepri pata circulatory system pasangala. It is a closed type circulatory system. What do you mean by closed type circulatory system? Blood is pumped into blood vessels. Okay, so you have blood vessels here, arteries, veins, capillaries, ella milk. Inna mukhya mana vishyo na heart. So yepri pata heart irku pasangala. They have a three chambered heart. Okay, moon chamber irku onga heart la. So, what are the three chambers, Pasangla? You have two auricles and one ventricle. You can see auricle, auricle and ventricle. In the auricle, we have atrium and soluvo, ventricle. And soluvo. Okay, so along with that, along with this blood, okay, blood is heart is there. We have a lymphatic system. Okay, so circulatory system is very important. We can explain the explain the circulatory system of your frog. And soli. Okay, one more line you clear up. Okay, don't worry, we will just decode NCRT. This is an NCRT SNP only. Okay, the vascular system of frog is well developed, closed to tight. And already so namari. Frog have a lymphatic system also. So, what does a blood vascular system contain heart, blood and blood vessels. Okay. Whereas the lymphatic system consists of lymph, lymph channels and lymph nodes. Okay. Now blood liner, blood vascular system, blood, okay, heart and blood vessels. In the lymphatic system, lymph, lymph node and lymph channels. Okay, heart is a muscular organ which is situated in the upper part. So, in the picture of the heart is the male padvila. Okay, it is situated in the upper part of the thoracic region. Okay, it has two chambers. One is the two atria and one ventricle and it is covered by a membrane called pericardium. So, normal ke ko, ade marina, the heart is covered by a membrane called pericardium. A triangular structure called sinus venosus joins the right atrium. In the a triangular structure called sinus venosus ve joins the right atrium. It receives the blood through the major veins called vena cava. So, in the sinus venosus, it is going to receive the blood from vena cava. So, in the vena cava, it receives the devo blood. Ma'am, devo blood is ma'am, deoxygenated blood. Okay, now the ventricle open into a sac like structure called conus arteriosus. In the theory, the ventricle, I'm going to say, Okay, the ventricle opens into a cone like structure called uh, conus arteriosus on the ventral side of the heart. Okay, so all cordex we have ventral heart. Okay, the blood from the heart is carried to all parts of the body by arteries, obviously. Right, so arteries carry oxygenated blood, and the blood from all the body parts is carried to the heart via veins. That is what we have told here. That is what we call the system so in the system one one the arterial system in on one the venous system so arterial system carries blood from heart to body parts in the mari kutti kutti flow chart cell the which you easy and our go so venous system in up another it carries blood from the body parts to the heart okay so every every line is so very very important okay Special venous connection between the liver and intestine as well as kidney and the lower parts of the body is present in the frog. So, in the case hepatic portal system, circulation chapter already So, you have a hepatic portal system. It's a special system that is going to carry blood to your kidney, liver, okay, intestine, and the mari particle. And the later is called renal portal system. Hepatic portal system and renal portal system. Hepatic portal system carries to intestine and liver. Renal portal system carries blood to your kidneys. Okay. Then let's talk about blood. Okay. So you will blood. So how is the blood? So the blood consists of plasma. The blood is composed of plasma and cells. Okay. And here you have two types. One is plasma. Another one is your blood cells. Okay. And what is the blood cell constitute of RBC, WBC or platelets. Okay. So cells moon with the mark. One of the RBC. In one of the WBC. In one of the platelets. 
okay you have three three important cells இங்க பாருங்க RBCs are nucleated okay நம்மல்க்கு வந்து in mammals RBCs are enucleated in our RBCs there is no nucleus but here பசங்களா the RBCs are nucleated ரும்பு ரும்பு important okay yes and contain red color pigment called hemoglobin that is why your blood is red in color okay the lymph is different from blood it lacks few proteins and RBCs okay the blood carries blood out of function in the it carries nutrients gases okay to all my body parts and it is going to carry back all my carbon dioxide and other metabolic and nitrogenous waste back okay so that's the function of your uh, blood okay so it is the end of our circulation and so long now we call this as incomplete double circulation rombo rombo mukyo in frogs you have incomplete incomplete double circulation yeh ma'am it is incomplete double circulation in solving it yeh na pasangla here there is only one single ventricle and there is mixing of the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood okay so this is because there is a mix up of O blood, O blood nai na pasangla, oxygenated blood and DO blood, DO blood nai na pasangla, deoxygenated blood in the ventricle. So, rumbo 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 mukhya maana vishyom naan ipo ungalku soli kudutthethu. Okay, I hope this is clear. Heart is ventral in nature, they have sinus venosus and conus arteriosus. Adha patti nani one mark, two mark kelvigal, easy ya ongal kaga kekalaam. Okay, adhathadhu nama paakka poor the excretory system. How is the excretory system there? Okay, the elimination of nitrogenous waste is carried out by a well-developed excretory system. The excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys, you can see here. The pair of kidneys, okay, and you have your ureters, cloaca, and urinary bladder. So, as I already told you, cloaca is a common opening, Pasangla. These are compact, dark red, and bean like structure, little posteriorly in the body cavity on both the sides of the vertebral column, okay. Rombo Rombo Mukyo. Each kidney is cover, composed of several functional units called urinicerous tubules or nephrons so namma kidney liyo nephrons irukku nephrons are the structural and functional unit of kidney okay in human beings as well as in frogs okay and then you have your two ureters emerge out of from the kidney you can see here the ureters are emerging out and the ureter acts as a urinogenital duct what is this urinogenital duct pasangla it's a common duct or a common tube okay for my reproductive as well as for my reproductive as well as my excretory system other than our urinogenital duct and soul row okay or a chinna difference in the person la in females the ureter and the ov duct open separately into the cloaca okay so imagine if this is your if this is your cloaca okay this is your cloacal aperture okay in females you have an ov duct okay and you have an ureter into me tanitaniya into me tanitaniya they open okay that's very very important rumbo mukhya maana vishyam the thin walled urinary bladder is present ventral to the rectum which also opens into the cloaca the frog excrete urea rumbo rumbo mukhyam they excrete urea so what kind of organisms they are ureotelic okay frogs are ureotelic okay and excretory waste are carried by the blood into the kidney where it is separated and excreted so excretory system are clear up after what are the three steps in excretion filtration reabsorption and you have secretion the blood will be purified okay yes அடுத்தது நம்ம பார்க்க போகிறது கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் கோஆர்டினேஷன் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் நீங்கள் வந்து அசந்து போயிடுவீங்க ஒரு ஃப்ராகில் மேம் இவ்வளோ எல்லாம் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் இருக்கா இவ்வளோ எல்லாம் விஷயங்கள் இருக்கா அதுதான் நம்ம இன்றைக்கி பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஸோ கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் கோஆர்டினேஷனில் பெரும்பாலும் ரெண்டு சிஸ்டம் வந்து இன்வால்வ் ஆகும் ஒன்று வந்து நர்வஸ் சிஸ்டம் இன்னொன்று வந்து எண்டோக்ரைன் சிஸ்டம் both these systems are involved in the control and coordination pasangla the system for control and coordination is highly evolved it includes both neural and your endocrine system the chemical coordination is achieved by hormones okay so hormones are the frogs you hear what are hormones they are uh, non-nutrient chemicals produced in trace amounts by endocrine glands so in the line endocrine glands are can parangar the prominent endocrine glands are pituitary thyroid 
parathyroid, thymus, pineal, pancreatic islets, adrenal and gonads. Gonads are the ovaries and testes. Okay. So, pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, pineal, pancreatic, adrenal, gonad. This is not a gland. Can anyone tell me what is the gland that is absent in the frog? In the video, pause in the comment section. Answer what is the uh, gland that is absent in frog and it's present in mammals? Yes, it starts with the letter H. Pasangla. Papo, it is a correct answer. So, ring a comment section. It is, it is, I hope you guys have answered. It is hypothalamus. So, hypothalamus is absent. Pasangla. Hypothalamus is absent. Okay, that is the nervous system. Other than that, all the things remain the same. And one more thing, the thyroid gland is going to produce one. Hormone, the thyroid gland, in the thyroid gland, when the hormone produced, and the hormone period, thyroxin, okay, and that thyroxin is very, very, very important for metamorphosis, okay. So, yeah, I like metamorphosis in the comment section. La in the video, post money to metamorphosis in and solinga. What is metamorphosis? Anybody, it is the development of an adult from a larval stage, okay. So, the Mukimana hormone and the thyroxin okay Ipanama, let's talk about your nervous system the nervous system is organized into central nervous system which includes your brain and spinal cord and peripheral nervous system which includes your cranial and spinal nerve and an autonomic nervous system which includes sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves so cns pns and ans okay so in the pasangla so you have your cns Okay, you have your PNS and ANS. Okay, so CNS lender, okay, what are the two types here or two parts? It is your brain and spinal cord. Okay, brain and spinal cord. Are they not a PNS lender park? In a PNS lender, spinal nerves, spinal nerves, and cranial nerves. In Soli render, okay, okay, cranial. Nerves. Okay, in order ANS lender, what does my ANS consist of? My ANS consists of sympathetic okay, nerves or neural system and parasympathetic nerves. Okay, parasympathetic nerves. Rumbo, 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 mukhyamana vishu. Okay, yes. So now we will continue. So there are 10 pairs of cranial nerves arising from the brain. Okay. And the brain is enclosed in a bony structure called brain box or cranium. Okay. The brain is divided into forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. This information also all of you know. Four brain includes olfactory lobes. Okay. So, you know, the olfactory lobes. Ma'am, the olfactory lobe would have function in the map. Olfactory lobe is associated with smell. Right. Olfaction and so on. Okay. Scientific pair olfaction. Yes. And paired cerebral hemisphere, end cerebral hemisphere, okay, which are paired and unpaired diencephalon. And you can see the diencephalon, which is unpaired. The midbrain is characterized by a pair of optic lobe. You know, midbrain optic lobe. Optic lobe would use in a It is going to help in vision line. And optic lobe would function on the vision. And the hind brain consists of cerebellum and Medulla oblongata, just like your brain. Okay, concha concha difference. Okay, the medulla oblongata passes through the foramen magnum. Okay, you can see this. This medulla oblongata is now going to pass through a structure called foramen magnum and continue into spinal cord, which is enclosed in a vertebral column. Rumbo rumbo mukhyamana vishyo nervous system. Orange point. What are the types of nervous system? Okay, what how is the brain? And what are the structures that are present in brain? In the diagram of the textbook, la kudukla. So in the diagram, only you just remember the points. Okay? Yes. 
நம்ம லாஸ்ட்டாக பார்க்க போகிறது சென்ஸ் ஆர்கன்ஸ் அப்புறம் ரீப்ரொடக்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் இன்னும் ரெண்டு இருக்குது ஸோ சென்ஸ் ஆர்கன்ஸ் எவ்வளோ முக்கியம்னா ஒரு ஆர்கானிசம்க்கு இட் இஸ் கோயிண் டு ஹெல்ப் இன் இட்ஸ் டே டு டே லைஃப் கரெக்டாக ஸோ ஃப்ராக் ஹேஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் சென்ஸ் ஆர்கன் ஃபார் டச் இட் ஹேஸ் சென்சரி பேப்பிலே அதோட ஸ்கின்ல வந்து சென்சரி பேப்பிலே இருக்கு ஓகே ஃபார் டேஸ்ட் இட் ஹேஸ் டேஸ்ட் பட் ஃபார் ஸ்மெல் இட் ஹேஸ் நேசல் எபிதீலியம் த கேவிட்டி த கேவிட்டி இஸ் லைன் பை நேசல் எபிதீலியம் அண்ட் ஃபார் விஷன் இட் ஹேஸ் ஐஸ் அண்ட் ஃபார் இயரிங் இட் ஹேஸ் டிம் பேனம் டிம் பேனம் ரெப்ரஸன்ஸ் வாட் பர்சன்லா டிம் பேனம் ரெப்ரஸன்ஸ் யோர் external ears okay adutad of these eyes and internal ears are well organized structure and the rest are cellular aggregation around nerve endings appa na eyes um ears so internal ear matrana nalla develop aana or sense organ micha dalla they are just a group of cells okay adu dhaan solla varanga eyes in frog are a pair of spherical structure situated in the orbit in the skull they possess simple eyes okay possessing only one unit ungal cockroach la irukiradhu vandu compound eye inga irukiradhu vandu simple eyes okay so external ear is absent in frog and only tympanum can be seen externally okay the ear is an organ of hearing as well as balance equilibrium it's a balance of equilibrium okay so adha vandu stato acoustic organ nu solluvom stato na equilibrium acoustic na hearing okay so that's a simple detail about your excrete uh, sorry sense organ ipo nama paaka poradhu the male reproductive system okay so what is male rep- i already told you they are sexually dimorphic okay so males and females are separate so frogs have a well organized male and female reproductive system the male reproductive system consists of a pair of yellowish ovoid testis inga theriyada the testis is oval in shape okay in the yellow color structure theriyada that is your male reproductive structure which are found to be adhered to the upper part of the kidney idu da unga kidney it is adhered to the idha kidney na it is adhered to the upper part of the kidney okay by a double fold peritoneum called meso மீசார்கியம் ஓகே ஸோ என்ன நடக்குது இதுதான் என்னோட கிட்னி கிட்னி மேலே அந்த ஓவாய் டெஸ்டிஸ் இருக்கு ஓகே ஹவ் ஆர் தே அட்டாச் தே ஆர் அட்டாச் வயா அ மீசார்கியம் இட்ஸ் அ பெரிடோனியம் இட்ஸ் அ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அ ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் தட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு ஹெல்ப் இன் அதரன்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ இங்க இருந்து என்ன வருதுன்னா வேசா இஃபரென்ஷியா வருது வேசா இஃபரென்ஷியா டென் டு டுவெல் இன் நம்பர் தட் அரை ஃப்ரம் த டெஸ்டிஸ் ஸோ இங்க இருக்கா this is your vasa efferentia they enter the kidneys on their side and open into the bidder's kennel so they are now going to open into bidder's kennel this vasa efferentia inga theriyada okay idinga vandu adrenal gland irukum adu vandu andha side irukum okay you have the bidder's kennel finally it communicates with the urinogenital duct that comes out of the kidney and opens into the cloaca you can see here they are opening into the cloaca and the cloaca will have a cloacal aperture so the cloacal aperture is a common opening for fecal matter urine and sperms to the exterior so it's a common opening okay idu dhaan pasanga our male reproductive system coming to female reproductive system they include a pair of ovaries okay the ovaries are situated near the kidneys na pochukonga inga and ovary vand kidney pakkathla situate a irukku ana endha oru endha oru functional attachment um kedaiyadhu there is no functional connection but here they are connected via your mesorchium here they are not connected okay a pair of ov duct arising from the ovaries opens into the cloaca separately inga paranga you can see this very well you can see the ov duct is opening into the cloaca separately and the ureter is opening into the cloaca separately okay a mature female can lay around 2500 to 3000 ova at a time okay innor mukhyamana vishayam fertilization is external it usually happens in the water okay adukku or fertilization ku or medium thevai and that is why they are in water okay adnala na avanga amphibians nu solrom development includes larval stage i think all of you are aware of larval stages okay tadpole undergoes metamorphosis to form the adult the tadpole is now going to undergo metamorphosis to form the adult one so very very important in the metamorphosis la endha hormone involve a irukku the hormone which is involved is basically your thyroxin 
okay adutha vishayatha paakalam economical and ecological importance of frog this is the end of this chapter so frogs are beneficial for mankind eppadi ma'am solreenga they eat insects pasangla and protect the crops they maintain ecological balance they help to maintain an ena solradhu balance in our nature okay so because they serve as an important link of food chain and food web in the ecosystem in some countries these frogs are also consumed okay so the mukhyamana vishayam enna na reproductive system digestive system circulatory system neural system in the naala matra romba 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 clear ah padichukonga so we have covered this entire chapter okay within 30 to 30 to 35 minutes do stay tuned for more bio learning i'll come up with more such one shots thank you so much stay tuned take care